Yes, welcome everyone. Thank you so much. All right. So, uh, last time we left off with our game crashing because, uh, well, Flowey killed Asgore. And uh, now we got to go back in and fight him. Um, and then we have to finish the pacifist route. And I will not be doing a genocide route um, unless there's enough call for it. Um, if enough people come to me and are like, hey, you should do the genocide route, I will. Um, but I don't guarantee a full playthrough because I've never been able to beat Sans. I'll try, but I, I've never been able to do it. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Hello. Oh. oh, come in. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. Flowey Tail is what the name of the window is called now. on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? <laughs> well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so that you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Shit, here comes the big bad. See if I remember how to do this. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, yes. Delicious goodness. Christ almighty. This fight is fucking unfair. Uh, I just joined stream. Uh, what the fuck is happening here? We're fighting Omega Flowey today. Oh, you fucker. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, become Demon kind of sounds like a Kirby boss, not gonna lie. Yeah. Trooper Fox is playing Mafia 2. Look at them. version of Sonic Generations on Xbox 360. Uh, not gonna lie, my big my favorite Sonic game. Fair enough, a lot of Sonic fans say that that's their favorite. Wow, his defense dropped to zero! Fuck yeah!
Nice. No, no! This can't be happening! You, you! You idiot! <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world, and you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Dolly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. Dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... What? Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No, no! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come and... I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. What legs he got, dog? Don't worry, guys. There's still a lot of stuff to come. This is not the end. It's not even close. Legs, you never seen the ram the the rambling shroom from Earthbound. That's how. Would he just un unroot himself and he had like a couple of little diddly legs? I also never played Earthbound either, so maybe that's a future stream as well. Ring, ring. Hey, yeah. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered 
seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, we're not giving up down here. Don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we'll get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human! How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing, the Queen disbanded the Royal Guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore. Wow! I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay! Because I'm still working hard. Even if it's all even it's on nothing even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine! Undyne is the one that's got it back. She lost her job, then she lost her house. You're sad, but we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sansa had heard his illegal hot dog stand. She hates working there, but she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible. But I'd like to believe it's not. Because I want to go with her. Then I'd get to see you again. Even if I'd have to fight you. Well, keep your fingers crossed. And keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye! Click. <laughs> Uh, same papyrus, same. I have no purpose to my life. <laughs> if only we could all be as happy as him, yeah. Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? You had just gone through without caring about anyone. You wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Yes, it is. Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Undyne? It seems like you could have been better friends. <clears throat> I'm losing the Flower voice. Uh, who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Thanks, Flowey. Yay! Okay. Okay, so now we're going back. Going way back. God, I only wish there were a way to like speed through this place. So quiet. Oh, there we go. Now we've got some background noise. Sounds 
Uh, oh yes, as for my good news, I am now finally 4 out of 28 LEGO games complete and 3 fully written into a script slash review. I also made an introduction on the history of Traveler's Tales, so I got some research out of the way too. Cool! Oh, this is the wrong way. Hell yeah. Uh, shite. Explore one. This looks sort of correct. Nope. Uh, wait, no, this is the right way, isn't it? No, 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 no. I'm going the long way. I need to find my way to, uh, not here. God. I'm a professional, I swear! <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I uh, still haven't touched the editing, though. Uh, still figuring out my gameplay for that. I won't have as much time either since I'm going back to college in a week. That's fair. Is the right one? Yes. You're filled with determination. Tra la la, care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Let's go to Waterfall. Hooray! <laughs> Tra la la, the water is very wet today. Didn't we determine that water is not wet because water makes things wet? Come again sometime, tra la la. Thanks, river person. Uh, I gotta remember where Ondine's house is. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yes! Okay, stand behind me! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think... <clears throat> Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you, on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. B Bye. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Uh, I would like to be. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. 
You're the anyone. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. Wait, darn it. Doesn't she say damn it in the original? I thought she said damn. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Glorious, thank you. It's down to progress? Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set, what would you like? Oh. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar. Soda. Hot chocolate. Tea. Oh, that sounds lovely. I'll, 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 I think I'll enjoy a hot cuppa. Come on, lads. Who's up for a hot cuppa and some fondant fancies? Uh, as for college, it's introduction next week, so I'll finally learn the timetable. Uh, AM, uh, uh, AMD also means I have to have a decent sleep schedule. Oh, that also means that I have to have a sleep schedule. Uh, so I can't join most late streams, sadly, unless it's a weekend. Uh, but yeah, Lego game is Lego Batman. That's a good one. Um, this will be interesting to talk about the being, about being the first Lego game not based on a film. Well, kind of, if you ignore all the 1980s Batman references. Yeah. It'll take just a minute for the water to boil. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of you take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Uh, struggle to talk about the complete saga, though. Only so many times you can do a plot summary before going. If I make a mega video, this is going to be really annoying. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of it. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I used to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. He was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. 
And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train Darks to fight. Like, uh, the virus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that! He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's just too innocent and nice. Uh, if I wait till the Skywalker Saga, I can do it all again! Yay! <laughs> I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Thank you, Ando. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become even closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! That's a little too much power. We'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Ah, uh, just let me do it. All right, Stundine. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter! Wait, that's too... Can confirm as a chef, we like to cook like Undyne. It's the only right way. Just slamming shit into pots, just chucking the vegetables over. Just you make a sauce, you beat it together with your bare fist, like you little bitch. <laughs> ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking, friendship bracelets. No, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Uh, some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. 
Because if we're not friends, it means I could destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Fake attack. <laughs> you pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. One damage. <laughs> out of like thousands of HP that she has. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine stick. Or shtick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Why? Why did you burn me down, SpongeBob? Why didn't you just do your essay? Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, alright? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait! This is sudden, but can you... Hey, wait, your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus's. Come see me when you have less stuff. Why is my inventory full? Do I have too many dogs in my inventory again? Oh, now's when I want to put on the heart locket and warm dagger. I see. Oopsies. Okay, so now... Cell. Dimensional box A. I can put... Uh, Temi armor and torn notebook away. There we go. Uh, so did you figure out what fun value you got? Uh, I don't remember what line it is on the file zero. Um, I could look it up here. Um, we, we did get the wrong number song, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see here. Um. No, 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 no. I don't want the fun value chart. I just want her to find the fun value.
Yeah, but which line is it? Line 36 of file zero. Okay, give me a second here. All right, let's go to app data, local, Undertale, file zero, open with, notepad, just once. All right, so line 36. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 20, oh, wait, it tells me what line. Okay, cool, that's nice. Uh, my fun value is 20. Uh, we have a fun value of 20. So that's something. Trolla -la, care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? Uh, take me to Snowden. I need to go see Undyne. Tra la la. Ooh, beware of the man who came from the other world. We got one of them. Oh my god. We got one of the man lines. Come again sometime, tra la la. Thank you. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alfie's. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Highland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Uh, also, also, I got all gold medals and we play motion. Doing so unlocks an extra title screen mini game that was meant to be part of the base game but got scrapped due to time. Ooh, that's pretty fun. You got Undyne's letter, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Okay, thanks, Undyne. What are you doing, Pap? Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Ah, uh, yes, Unbarail. Thank you for joining, Stuart. I appreciate you coming in. Also, thank you, Ari, for joining. Oh, my God. You must be on your lunch break or something. Tra-la-la, -la, care for a ride. Ride the boat? Yes. Where we'll go today? Give me Hotland. And we're off. Uh, getting all Platinums also unlocks another title screen minigame, but getting those sucks. I ain't doing it. Yeah, fair. Pet, pet, pet. The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Nope. Oh, are you home and I just didn't notice? Yeah, you're in the bathroom. Everybody in chat, uh, uh, tag Ari and tell her to shit faster. Terminazione. 
There is no mail slot. Slide the letter underneath. Slide. Thanks for sharing on stream. Of course. Uh, oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay. Oh, my Alfie's voice is dead. I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Let's go on the date. Can't wait for the new Batman Arkham VR game. I know it looks amazing. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Uh, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Uh, hey, w wait. Actually, we, we can't start the date yet. Dating. Stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. R right? A anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, um... Uh, scales. And, uh, well, uh, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Did you have a good shit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alfie's, what are you doing? <laughs> do you like anime? I do! Hey, me too. Hey, let's g go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing... It might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. <laughs> have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I j just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you. T to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. 
but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne. Uh, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody. Fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth, you fucking idiot. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a life where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever people, whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I d don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be on time? I'll be on time. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> you, you... No. Uh, I'm fine. Ha ah, ah, ha! Glad to hear it. Um, uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it, what is it, Alphys? <laughs> then she kisses you. Um, you see, uh, I... I... I ha haven't been exactly truthful w with you. Y you see, I... I... Oh, forget it. Undyne! I I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and, and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like... Telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, Undyne! Hold me! What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I, I was, uh, just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, uh, we were, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just wanted to use it to make ice cream. Those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. And that time I... Alfie's. I... I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some... Dirty loser. Alfies. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfies. <laughs> Get dunked on. Alfies! I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kids' cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% and maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want to have to lie to you. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. 
Alfies, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training that you need to do that. But I, you, you're gonna train me? What? Me? <laughs> I forgot about this. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog one th 100 laps! Hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime is real in the sense that it exists. But not in the way you're thinking, so no. Let the truth set you free. No, no! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces! No, I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alfie's. Thank you, human. For telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Thanks, Undyne. Okay, now that that's over, I can finally read the fucking chat again. Uh, fucking, yeah, somebody shit themselves with laxatives. Uh, if so, I won't be hiring him as my lawyer since that's the course he took in college. Another fun story about the kid, he brought in 120 rice cakes into school because he was, and I quote, a little peckish. He also once brought in a 20 liter big science jug because a single teacher, t teacher told him, you should drink more water. Absolute mad lad. I love that for him. Him or her. They, them. Jijim. Oh my god, I'm so far back. Ring. Audi. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus. Oh my god. Also your mutual friend. Alpies and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Um, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. It's not suspicious at all. There we go. Calming tranquility. Thank God. Okay, now we can go to Alfie's and make our way into the true lab. Where we go? Hotland, of course. And we're off. Uh, I would like to take the moment of silence that we have here to let you know that today is sponsor... And the sponsor for the foreseeable future of all my streams is Dubby. Um, I don't make money unless you buy something, so please buy something. Thank you. Uh, tra la la. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs of pants today. What is it particularly cold out there? I mean, I get it. You're working with water all day. There's probably some pretty chilly air currents that are going on. A note from Alfie's. Read it. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't make magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. Uh, you all at least deserve to know what I did. 
That's all she wrote. Damn. Warning, warning, elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. I have shitty connection here, so I'm gonna go by. All right, number one, Nikita, you have a good night. Thank you for joining. Entry number one. Oh, these are, I think some of these are Gaster, right? <clears throat> this is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by a soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. Souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. Solve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determinazione. Sorry, I've been watching JoJo's. One of my favorite tracks. This one's called Here We Are. If I remember correctly, this is not an actual save point, so I'm gonna wait for that. Power room. Okay. Can't go north. I'm not buying any crisps from the machine. Entry number six. Uh, Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Okay, this is still gas event. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Hold on a sec. I have to readjust because my butt hurts. Ow! Oh. Okay. Whew. Uh. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies uh, have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh, this one's Alfie's. Okay. Hey, maybe that first one was a save point. I'm just stupid. Are you an actual save point? You are. Oh, I'm a dimmy dip dumbass. Uh, gotta love how Gaster has never been really confirmed to be anything. We just let the fandom go wild and went, yup, that seems right. What's the bet he's Deltarune's true final boss? I would, like, stake... I wouldn't... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say anything. Turn on the sink.
Oh dear god. Ooh, memory head. Sink? Uh, if Gaster was the final boss, damn. No! I I had originally said I would stake, like, I would stake my life on it, but I was like, I'm not gonna say that because then people in my chat are gonna be telling me to, you know, KMS. Uh, if I'm, if I'm wrong. Whenever it gets released. So we're not gonna say that. Uh, A. Uh, C. Sell, right? Come join the fun. But nobody came. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll join. You'll be with us shortly. At least the amalgam fights aren't too hard. What, do I have to refuse? That's a shame. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Ah! Okay. Spare. Zero XP, zero gold. Sweet! Uh, nah, we won't use a stake to kill vampires anymore. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your key check. Cool, thank you. Click. Beautiful. Onward to the rest of the lab. <laughs> uh, ah. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. <coughs> Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. I think we'll take a little rest. Seems like a comfortable bed. Am I on it? Yes. I love, I love Ghosty Spoon Man. It's William Afton Sprite in the Midnight Motorist. <laughs> Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking up and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Entry number 7. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Uh, yeah, did you ever do any of the hidden boss fights yet? Um, we did try to do, um, Glide at one point. Um, and he was just too hard to do at level one. Um, and it, it takes so long to set it up as well, so we just, we didn't bother. 
Ooh, Reaper Bird. Uh, I think Bray is the one for this. Uh, Neil and Crypt Safety remembers his conscience. Uh, hello, every man. Oh, that's a long neck. Yeah. Did something mysterious, recognize that it has more to learn from this world. I didn't mean to do that. Don't pick on me. Oh, okay. Shit. What the fuck? My heart disappeared. Okay. It's the no man. Oh, it's not the no man, it's the every man. this guy would be pick on right because he's not part washua you pick on reaper bird seems to remember something someone finally gets it ribbit ribbit courage it's placated good thank god blue switch okay He's just standing there, menacingly! Yeah, no, these fuckers are creepy. Tree number 11. Now that Metatod's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends again. Not to mention, every time I work on it, I just get really sweaty. Switch on the wall. Press it. Yes. Puppy! Amalgamate. I uh, will beckon. Pops towards you, flicking a strange liquid. I'm going to hovering. Uh, play. Not excited enough to play with. Okay. Ow, fuck. So, pet. Convulses rapidly, calms down. Press quietly on your lap for a moment. Easy, easy, easy. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Uh, Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. What? Oh, Doggo looking a little differently. Yeah. When he threw you up into the corner of the room, the Amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leaves its dripping amorphous body on you. 
Fuck. Oh my god. Dog! Fuck. Cannot give up just yet. Shut up, Asgore. Let me fucking... Fucking Asgore. There's a switch. Press it. Yes. Now we gotta do this again. We gotta do it better. With less terrible. Back in. Excited, play, brings it back proudly, repeats a few times. Okay, so we did pet play, or we did beckon play. No, we did beckon pet play. Play again? Too tired to play. Okay, so pet is next. Oh, fuck. Why'd you go down? You fuckhead. Oh, you dick basket. Twitching affectionately. Pet. Stage one happiness froth. Convulsions and testify. Intensify. Jesus. Pet. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Yay! Oh, he's cute now. Endogeny. Or endogeny, I love that. Bye! <laughs> what a friend. Oh, we're gonna go save! Country number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back home tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! find out info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. It smells like sweet lemons. <gasps> Lemon bread! I remember what to do with you. Uh, unhug and then hum. Welcome to my special hell. Um, body shakes. Stay here with me. Feels like sweet lemons. And then I think flex. There's some Aaron in there, I see, on the arm. Flex your arm, lemon bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. Would this be goodbye? 
It is. See you later, friend. Zero XP, zero gold. Uh, did the extraction machine status inactive? Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages to get. To, to gay? Today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. Spend all my time in the garbage dump now. It's my element. The refrigerator is empty. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, hi, Mama Snowdrake. Oh, you. Oh, oh. I forgot how sad this fucking one it was. Hi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I remember. It's so cold. skedaddling time as I do in fact need to sleep. Gotta get back into a schedule soon. Yep, I understand. You have a good night. Joke again? Oh uh, yeah, I just have to keep joking. Uh, thank you. So cold. Joke. Told a bad part about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. Zero XP, zero gold. Oh, Mama Snowdrake, I'm sorry. It's the yellow key room. I don't think I have the yellow key yet, do I? Unless I picked it up and I didn't realize it. Right, I don't know. Yep. Where did I get that? Oh yeah, there's not there's not anything in here. Music fucking slaps, dude. Oh, I remember where the yellow key is. It's in one of the beds, isn't it?
Seems like this controlled the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out, and I'm trying to do it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so that their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take care- to take- Ugh! Physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, when all of the test subjects had melted together into those, seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done and so far had been such a horrible failure. Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. <sighs> I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens with something without a soul gains the will to live? Tree number 18. The flower's gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Hugo, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Hugo, see you soon. Alrighty then. Oh, wait, what? Well, I can't go back. Oh, man. I still had stuff in Hotland I wanted to do. Uh, oh, well.
so ominous how like fucking quiet it is. The end. This is the bear. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by some chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Let's see. This is it then. Ready? Oh shit! That's the true ending! Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> Toriel! Go, Mom! What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realize, I cannot allow that. It is, not so it is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, Dreamor. Well... If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have done. Th you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Ah, Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends, or else! I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you, too. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey! Nobody hurt each other! Uh. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toria. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help! Hello? Oh, hello, your majesty! Psst, hey, human. 
did Asquash shave and clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! Come on, Escore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Escore. That's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh... Stop going after furry bots monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alfie's? Uh, Alfie's? No, he's right. Let's do it! Uh, well, uh, I guess if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back! Wait! Not in front of the human! Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child... It seems as if you must stay here a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me! A tiny flower? Fuck! You idiot! Well, you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls! And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too! <laughs> And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault! It's all because you made them love you! All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them! Without that, they wouldn't have come here! And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form! <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play any with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over. And over! <laughs> Listen! If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But it won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you a billion times! Oh, that's a million.
What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this widow's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it! For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you! You got this! You gotta win! You can do it! No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You! You! I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy! Hugo, are you there? It's me, your best friend. As real dream world. It's the end! Uh, I don't think I can really do anything right now, so we'll just Percy. <laughs> the true final battle is finally beginning. <laughs> I love this one so much. Yeah! Oh, I almost went through that without getting hit. Uh, let's see. Hope? Dream? Dream. Think about why you're here now. You feel the, uh, the empty in space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. This is the yeah. I refused. It's the end. Oh god. Ooh, okay. I think I only got hit once. Your dream became true. HP was max. Trying to beat you and gain total control over the timeline. I just want to reset everything. Everyone's hopes and dreams 
I'll bring them all back to zero. Then we can do everything all over again. Fuck me. Who gives a flarg? God damn it. Nice. I'm turning this shit up. best part of all this is, you'll do it. And then you'll lose to me again. Can I just advance a little bit, please? Fuck me. Chaos Buster. Nice. And again. Nice, 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 nice. What the fuck was it? I was going as fast as I could.
Because you want a happy ending. Because you love your friends. I do love them! Because you never give up. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that lets you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall! Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Oh, is that Hypergoner? It's gonna be the Hypergoner. Bullshit! I only got hit twice, fuck you. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this! Wide as real! <laughs> oh fuck, I can't move. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! No, but I restart with 20. Thanks, game. Can't move your body, I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where nobody remembers you. Can't move your body. Still, still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. I had 15! Or, no, I had 5 HP. You right. Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, 
you can save something else. Yeah! You reached out to your friends. They're in there somewhere. Within the depths of Razriel's soul, something's resonating. All humans will die. Oh, I thought hitting her would snap her out of it. Uh, oh, fake hit. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. You are a real enemy. The Lost Soul stands there. Recipe. You asked the Lost Soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. Mercy is for the weak. Smile. Gave the lost soul a big smile, like you remember, like she, like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. I'm getting emotional. I'm sorry. Some humans are okay, I guess. God, I fucking love this so much. I'm gonna cry on camera, and I'm sorry, but it's going to happen eventually. Joke. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. I must capture a human. Just give up. I did it. Fuck. A puzzle. That's the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will. Why did you try? Recipe. Ask the, soul, the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. We'll never see him again. The lost soul stand there. Uh, let's see. Crossword. Tell the lost soul you think Jumble is tougher than crosswords. It nods its head like it knew this without question. No, wait, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Thanks, guys. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Oh, uh, I don't have the... Damn. Uh, hug. This is for your own good. I'll give you for this. Mercy. Refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. Howdy. Oh, thank you for joining us. Welcome, Jade. Thank you for joining us. Tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. You hug the lost soul. Suddenly, his memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Alright, Alf. Nerd out. You asked the Lost Soul what her favorite cartoon is. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. I really fucking love this. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. Maybe, don't you? Of course not. Ah, oh, fuck.
You ask the lost cult soul for a help on a quiz question. She barely holds back from giving you the answer. I've got to keep lying. Tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Suddenly, she remembers. It's all flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you, too. Feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Strangely, as, you re as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul stronger than ever. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize... You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Feel your friend's soul resonating within Azrael. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tell you apart! know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this. Because you're special, you know. You're the only one that understands me. the only one who's fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you. I care about you more than anyone else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this, and just let me win! Stop it! Stop it now! So sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Hugo? I know. 
You're not actually Hugo, are you? Hugo's been gone for a long time. Um, what... What is your name? Frisk. That's... a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you about... I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toria. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Of course I forgive you, dude. What? Frisk, come on. You're you're gonna make me cry again. I'm gonna cry, motherfucker! God damn it! Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Barrier was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Of course I'll comfort him. It's okay, little buddy. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Frisk. You're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Chris, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Sorry. <clears throat> Frisk, 
This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out for forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a little baby. What? I didn't cry! I don't cry! I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! No, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them some space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I am not certain. Risk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went quiet. Now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. Seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You could say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Now we can break the news to everyone that we're free! So we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. Then he told me, Don't think that means you're getting out of work here. Don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, uh, my boss. I love that guy. By that I mean I hate him so, so much. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because that makes fun of me. But I, I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if I was just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <coughs> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or, maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. See you later, pal. Anytime, little buddy. Oh, I can't do it now that I'm back. Son of bitch. Oops. Oh, what do you 
do you have to say about this? What? Do you want a rematch? No. Oh shit, I can't go through this way. Fuck me! Is it left one? Is that what it is? Ah, oh, bastards. Okay. Here for a ride, yes. Take me to Snowden. I heard Asgore has a favorite food. It's cinnamon butterscotch pie. Come again sometime, tra la la. I will. Drake. Eh, I guess we'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there that we can live in, right? Sure, dude. Oh, that's Snowdrake's mother. Okay.
pumps open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push pumpkin? Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. And... Just really quick player. I know, I know. It's coming back. Just give me a sec. I didn't want to walk all the way back. Okay, now we're back. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice. The air is so fresh. You really feel alive. Hey, Sans. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! Stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. You act as our ambassador to the humans. Be the ambassador? Yes! Yeah, Brisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. Go make a good first impression. Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting in the trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Pyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! 
Oops. Uh, should I do something? Stairs, motherfuckerly. Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It's a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you, for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Royal Guards are also super gay. Amalgamates are living with their families. That's nice.
<laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special credits yet, or the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Hmm. Undertale. The end. Oh. Holy God, what a fucking journey it's been. I had a lot of fun um, playing this game again for the first time in, like, a long time. Um, God, I just... I have so much love for this game and for the developers, you know, Toby, Temi, the entire coding crew, just, oh my god, I have so much love for, for this game. Um, what, god, what an incredible adventure to have been on. It's just insane. Um, god, I love this game so much. It was so much fun to take this ride with everyone as well. Um, you know, let let people watch me play it and kind of interact and, um, you know, just have fun. It's, it's such a rare opportunity that, um, you know, I, I would get to share this with you know, someone who's never seen it before or anything like that. Um, but sharing the experience with people who have some context or, like, have already played it for themselves or have seen it played, um, it's just, there's just a common understanding there that is so different than um, seeing it for the first time. Um, but it's just, God, what a 
fucking... Ah, uh, what a fucking good time this was. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, aw, Toby fell asleep. Um, but, uh, that is going to be it for me for today. Um, that is the end of Undertale, uh, at least until further notice. If eventually, you know, I get enough demand to do other routes, I will. Um, but... Up next on the list of games after this is Deltarune, for obvious reasons. I'm going to be doing chapters 1 and 2, and we'll play, you know, 3, 4, and 5 when they come out. Um, but, uh, yeah, my god, this was so much fun. But, uh, yeah, once again, this has been Undertale. Thank you everybody so much for, you know, going on this incredible journey with me. God, what a time this has been. Um, but... If you enjoyed it, follow, like, subscribe, whatever you can do on whatever platform you're seeing this. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is all for now. Uh, take care of yourselves. You are loved. Uh, and I will see you next time. See you later, everybody. Take care. Good night.